Good day everyone. This is Mr. Gian Carlos Antego, your lecturer today at Halinat Matuto sa Dasmariñas North National High School TV. This lesson was prepared by Ms. Roselle V. Edrosolano. Our topic today is about the roots of polynomials and we will learn how to find remaining roots when one root is given. <music> Before that, let's recall the steps in finding the rational roots of polynomial equations. Step 1. List all the possible roots of the polynomial equation using rational root theorem. Step 2. Apply the factor theorem and use synthetic division to check if one of the listed roots is a factor. If it's a factor, then it's also one of the solutions to the polynomial equation. Step 3. Get the depressed equation. Step 4. Solve the depressed equation to find the other solution using factoring method. Now let's try it with the previous example. 2x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. By using rational root theorem, we are able to determine the possible roots of the equation. Those are positive and negative 1, positive and negative 1 third, positive and negative 2, positive and negative two-thirds. Then, by applying factor theorem or synthetic division, we can determine if the number is a factor. That is, if the remainder turns out to be zero. Then, step three, get the resulting equation, and step four, factor it to find the remaining root. In this example, the solution of the given polynomial equations are 1 multiplicity 2 and negative 3 over 2. But what if we already have one given root? That's actually our topic for today. And let's give this example a try. x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. And 1 is one of the roots. Since the equation has three roots, therefore, we only need to find the two remaining roots. First, apply the factor theorem or synthetic division and use the given root to find the other roots. List down the numerical coefficients, use 1 as the test, 0, and then simplify. Bring down 1, multiply by the test 0, 1, and then add. Negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Multiply to 1 is 0. Then add negative 1 plus 0, negative 1. Multiply the test 0, that will be 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. Since the remainder is 0, therefore 1 is one of the roots of the equation. Now, get the depressed equation. The quotient in the synthetic division represents the numerical coefficient of the resulting equation. Therefore, we now have x squared minus 1 equals 0. Now, step 3, solve the depressed equation to find the other solutions using factoring method. And x squared minus 1 equals 0 is an example of difference of two squares. It says that the factors of this are the sum and the difference of the square roots of the squared terms. Then, equate them both to 0 to find the roots. Therefore, the remaining roots of the given polynomials are 1 and negative 1. Now let's try it with a higher degree polynomial. x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. And 2 is one of the four roots. Now, apply the factor theorem and use the given root to find the other roots. List down the numerical coefficient. Use 2 as the test 0, and then simplify. Bring down 1, multiply to 2, then add. 
ya, jadi 2 plus 2 0 times 2 0 then add that is negative 3 negative 3 times 2 negative 6 then add 4 plus negative 6 is equal to 2 negative 2 times 2 equals negative 4 and then add that is 0 since the remainder is 0 therefore 2 is one of the four roots now get the depressed equation the depressed equation will be now equal to x cubed minus 0x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0, which is also equal to x cubed minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. Since the depressed equation has a degree of 3, we have to repeat the process. Apply again the factor theorem and use the synthetic division. List down the numerical coefficients. Use again 2 as the test, 0, and then simplify. Bring down 1, multiply to 2, then 2, 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 equals 4, negative 3 plus 4, that is 1. 1 times 2, that is 2, negative 2 plus 2, 0. Since the remainder is 0, the other roots is again 2. Now, get the depressed equation. The depressed equation is now equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Now, solve the depressed equation to find the other solution using factoring method. As you observe, this is an example of perfect square trinomial. Therefore, the factors are x plus 1 and x plus 1 equals 0. Equate both to 0 to get the remaining roots. x plus 1 equals 0, then x is equal to negative 1 and x plus 1 equals 0, then x equals negative 1. Therefore, the remaining roots of the given polynomial is negative 1 multiplicity of 2. Now, to summarize this lesson, here are the steps in finding the remaining roots when one root is given. First, apply the factor theorem and use the given roots to find the other roots. Step 2, Get the depressed equation. And step 3, solve the depressed equation to find the other solution using factoring method. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe in our YouTube channel so you will be updated in our latest upload in Halinat Matuto sa Dasmarinas North National High School TV. Thank you!